Hey team, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to be taking a look at a post from r slash engineering students titled, How are there people passing school while going out drinking every night? Oh, also make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't really do anything for you, but it helps me out a lot. So. Thanks if you do that. I see my friends going out drinking pretty much every night and I'm wondering how it's genuinely possible. See, but you don't make a mention of if they're succeeding or not. This carries the implication that they're doing fine in school. That could just totally not be the case. <laughs> yeah, my friends, they're just, they never study. They go out every night. It seems like they don't even show up to class. Oh my God, and they're getting by? Hmm? Oh no, they're failing all their courses. They're getting kicked out next year. So that's one thing they could probably just not be doing well, which is the most likely explanation. You've heard of uh, Oakham's razor, right? The most simplest explanation is probably the correct one. Yeah, they're able to get away with all of this stuff because they're not able to get away with it. See, you're probably holding everyone to your standards. You're like, oh, they're doing all that stuff and getting the same result as me. But that's not the case. No, no, no. The results you're getting are because you're putting the work in. Look at you. It's all paying off, isn't it? And there's the famous quote, right? Comparison is the thief of joy. You see how other people are kind of living their life and you're like, oh man, that's not what I'm doing. Maybe I'm falling short. But you have no idea the struggles and the stuff they're going through on their end. Okay, also I just realized the title does say that these people are passing school, but passing is just getting by. The classic phrase is C's get degrees, right? But C's do not get full-time jobs. Yes, C's don't get internships. C's don't get you looked at. C's do get degrees, but that's about it. <laughs> but you do say that these people are passing, so let's just assume best case scenario that they're passing with flying colors. How are they able to do that? Well, you know, I hate that I'm about to say this, but some people are just built different. It's true, some people can just handle it and that's something you have to accept. People have different tolerances. People always use that in the context of drugs and alcohol, but it also is with anything in life. The amount of something you can tolerate is completely different than how much someone else can tolerate of that thing. So it'd be wrong of you to compare your tolerance with theirs. Like if I get less than seven hours of sleep, the next day is rough. But then there's people that, you know, can get by on three hours of sleep. It would be wrong of me to compare my, you know, eight hours that I need to that person's three hours because we're built different. I'm not gonna say one of us is better, but, you know, it's called beauty sleep for a reason, okay? You need a lot of it. Yeah, to be honest, some of the best programmers I know have the most destructive lifestyles. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, yeah. These people that are so good at programming, they have just, oh, <laughs> the worst lifestyles, man. They don't sleep, they don't eat. The things that they do consume are just, ugh. <laughs> energy drinks, granola bars. You can't look at a super successful person, copy everything they do, and then wonder why you're not getting the same exact results. Because you are not them, and they are not you. Also, you gotta consider, right? You say they're drinking every night. Maybe they made their schedule to where they don't have morning classes. Maybe they actually can get away with it, because they have all afternoon classes, so they're kind of just partying at night, getting their work done during the day. You know, their days are organized like mullets, Party in the back, business in the front. And another thing to consider is, do you want to do that? Do you, <laughs> do you want to go out drinking every night? Does that sound fun? Drinking one night? Sure. Sure. That's fun. Drinking every night? Um, <laughs> that, uh, actually, they have a name for that. That's called being an alcoholic. And that works for some people. Not most people, but some people it works for. So don't look at other people passing school while they're out drinking every night, all night, as some kind of inadequacy of yours. It's just how the cards were dealt. You could basically summarize everything I just said in this one phrase. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> some people can handle it, okay? Then you shouldn't look at that as a shortcoming of your own. You should just look at it as a way that you are different than others. And differences aren't inherently a bad thing, they're just a thing. Now, if you are a party animal, <laughs> and you were wishing that you could be out with your friends, that's a whole nother thing. That, <laughs> that is, no, yeah, that's severe FOMO that you're experiencing there. So, <laughs> I get it. No, I get it. But if you can get past the FOMO of it all, I hope you know that this isn't a problem of yours. But let's see what the comments say. Either they have easier majors, they are barely pa wait a minute, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even consider that. This is an engineering thread, so I was like, oh, it's engineering. But maybe they just don't have 
an engineering major, right? Or as, you know, every engineer loves to say, oh, maybe it's a civil engineering major. I, you guys suck. <laughs> you guys got to stop bullying civil engineers, okay? Because then all our bridges are going to fall down. You know that, right? These things have real life consequences. You guys got to stop. Anyways, either they have easier majors, they are barely passing, C's get degrees after all. There we go. There's the quote. Or they are just smarter than you. Okay, that's... <laughs> Hey, have you just accepted that maybe you're a dumbass? I mean, that's kind of what I said. I just said it in a nicer way. I said that maybe you're built different. This person saying, hey, maybe your brain was built improperly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take that as an insult either. Okay, well, we're a little past that. That's like, <laughs> you can't just say, oh yeah, there's people there way smarter than you. No offense though. Oh my God. Don't take that as an insult. Come on. Let's <laughs> facts are facts. What did I say something wrong? <laughs> For example, I have a friend that graduated as a computer science major from a fairly prestigious school and never once reviewed homework or studied. Doing the homework was his studying and he only got a couple of B's and straight A's by the time he graduated. Yeah, it's true. And if you were to copy that guy's, you know, practices, you would probably fail. Some people can just get away with it. I know. <laughs> Damn. I guess the real lesson is life is unfair, isn't it? Who would have thought in my spry age of 25? <laughs> I could have learned a lesson like that. You've never drank and derived? All right. All right, funny man. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> I knew a girl who was the president of a co-ed fraternity and another club, taking 18 to 21 credit hours each semester, working out, going to lots of parties, and somehow a 4.0 in an engineering major. One big thing that I learned in college is that there are some people who are just league smarter than you. All right, there we go again with the, hey, have you considered you're a dumbass? Have you considered there's like a lot more people that are smarter than you? Actually, I would say everyone. No, we know what they're saying. It just, it comes out funny. Yeah, when you just explicitly are like, hey, you know, there are people smarter than you. That, it sounds a little, it doesn't play as well as you think it might. That's one of those things, you know, you say in your head and then you say it out loud and you're like, oh, that's not, I didn't, that sounded meaner than I thought it would. Like when you're playing a video game with a friend and they start to kind of pick up the game fast and you're like, wow, I didn't ex expect that. And then they're like, what? I it's Mario Kart. You just drive straight. What the fuck? How stupid do you think I am? Study before you go drinking. Okay. Well, that's... Would that technically be a pregame or no? Adderall. That... Okay. <laughs> maybe drugs? Have you considered that one? Hmm? Or maybe you're just dumb. Did you consider that one too? The simple answer is either they have easier workloads or they are simply not or barely passing. There we go. Yes. I was right. See? The person's probably not passing. That's probably the most likely scenario. One thing that I learned from school is that, you know, when you guys are all talking about your grades, some people are lying. You think people are just going out there, giving you their raw score like that? No, we're smart. We're college students. We use protection. We up our grade by like 20%. And it's not lying because the next midterm will average it out and it will be true. So yes, People are saying things, but that doesn't mean they're true. Like some people could tell you that I'm not funny. And we both know that, okay, you're nodding your head in agreement. Do you want to, do you want to talk about that? Yeah, excuse me. Uh, I thought we were on the same page. I thought you watched me because you thought I was funny. Hmm? You've heard of a personality hire, huh? I thought I was a personality subscription of yours. I thought you watched me because, no? Okay, you're shaking your head now. That's... So you're hearing what I'm saying. No, that's fine. Just say you hate me. No, go ahead. That's <laughs> well, fine. I mean, if you hate me so much, maybe I'll just see you in the next video. Okay. But before you leave, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Okay. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I promise it'll be funny. I swear.